हेलो फ्रेंड्स भाई साहब सुभाष नगर से फ्रॉम श्री दिगंबर जैन गुरुकुल हाई स्कूल सोलापुर आई शैल वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन द ऑनलाइन सेशन ऑफ नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पार्ट फर्स्ट फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग विद द टॉपिक लॉज ऑफ मोशन पार्ट टू एंड द कंटेंट इज स्पीड वेलासिटी एवरेज स्पीड एंड एवरेज वेलासिटी फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस सेशन दैट इज लॉज ऑफ मोशन पार्ट फर्स्ट वी हैव बीन डिस्कस्ड विद द फॉलोइंग इम्पॉर्टेंट सब टॉपिक्स इंट्रोडक्शन टू द मोशन मोशन डिस्टेंस डिस्प्लेसमेंट डिफरेंस बिटवीन डिस्टेंस एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑन द स्पीड सो फ्रेंड्स बिफोर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ speed let us see the type of motion you could see different types of motion in our day to day life among few are here that is vibratory motion in the first figure then linear motion curvilinear motion then oscillatory motion is there in the fifth you could see circular motion and the last rotatory motion friends not only these are the types of the motions you could see additional Uh, types of the motions in reference books so with this examples we now start with the speed just as a distance and displacement have distinctly different meanings despite their similarities so do for the speed and velocity so speed is a scalar quantity that refers to how fast an object is moving speed can be thought of as the rate at which an object covers a distance a fast moving object has a high speed and covers a relatively large distance in a short amount of time contrast this to a slow moving object that has a low speed it covers a relatively smaller amount of distance in the same amount of time an object with no movement at all is said to be at the zero speed right so with mathematically speed is equal to distance upon time this is the equation following are the units of the speed in the mks or the sas system the speed is measured in terms of meter per second and in cgs system it is centimeter per second so friends we will now see the types of the speeds following are the types of the speeds uniform speed variable speed average speed and instantaneous speed so uniform speed means an object is said to be uniform speed speed when the object covers equal distance in equal intervals of time variable speed if an object covering the different distance at equal intervals of time then it is said to be a variable speed third average speed average speed is defined as the uniform speed which is given by the ratio of total distance traveled by an object to the total time taken by the object now the last one instantaneous speed when an object is moving with variable speed then the speed of that object at any instant of time is known as the instantaneous speed so friends next we will see velocity velocity is a vector quantity that refers to the rate at which an object changes its position imagine a person moving rapidly one step forward and one step back always returning to the original starting position while this might result in a frenzy of this activity it should result in a zero velocity because the person always returns to the original position the motion would never result in a change in position since velocity is defined as the rate at which the position changes this motion results in zero velocity so if a person in motion wishes to maximize their velocity then that person must make every effort to maximize the amount that they are displaced from their original position every step must go into moving that person further from where he or she started for certain the person should never change direction and begin to return to the starting position so velocity mathematically can be expressed as velocity is equal to displacement upon time so following are the units of this velocity 
in m case or the si system the velocity is measured in terms of meter per second and in cg system it is centimeter per second so you should have to remember these important things the units of speed and velocity are the same in si system the unit is meter per second while in the cg system it is centimeter per second this meter per second also can be written as ms raised to minus 1 and centimeter per second also can be written as centimeter dot s raised to minus 1 speed is related to distance while velocity is related to the displacement if the motion is along a straight line the values of the speed and velocity are the same otherwise they can be different velocity is the displacement that occurs in unit time so these three important points you should have to remember now let us uh, start with average speed as an object moves it often undergoes change in speed for example during an average trip to school there are many changes in speed rather than the speedometer maintains a steady reading the needle constantly moves up and down to reflect the stopping and starting and the accelerating and decelerating one instant the car may be moving at 50 miles per hour and another instant it might be stopped that is 0 miles per hour yet during the trip to school the person might average 32 miles per hour so the average speed during an entire mo motion can be thought of as the average of all speedometer readings if the speedometer readings could be collected at one second intervals or you could say 0 point one second intervals or it may be any another and then average together the average speed could be determined so friends the average speed during the course of motion is often computed using the following formula so the formula is average speed is equal to distance traveled upon total time to travel friends now we'll see the next point that is average velocity you could see the diagram the graphical representation of this one average velocity is the ratio of the total displacement to total time its direction is same as the direction of the moving object even if the object is slowing down and the magnitude of the velocity is decreasing its direction would be still the same as the direction in which the object is moving the magnitude of this average velocity is always less than or equal to the average speed because displacement is always smaller than or equal to the distance now observe the adjoining graphical representation the average velocity is often computed using the formula that is the average velocity is equal to change in the position upon time could be replaced uh, told this triangular sign is the change small change in the position or that could be replaced with the displacement upon time so friends now we will what we have been discussed today is the following important points types of the motion we saw then speed types of speed velocity average speed and average velocity so next you may try for these the problems that would have solved in your notebook First, define the following terms speed, velocity, and average speed. Write the assigned CG units of this velocity. Write the assigned CG units of this speed. Write the mathematical equation of speed, velocity, average speed, and average velocity. Friends, it is, these questions are very easy. For practice purpose, it is given to you. Next, we will see. Should not forget the famous words by Albert Einstein. Most people say that it is the intellect which makes a great scientist. They are wrong. It is the character. Very nice meaning in this uh, famous words. So go through this. Once again I shall read it. Most people say that it is the intellect which makes a great scientist. But they are wrong. It is the character that makes the person a great scientist. So I think if you like this video please subscribe and share. With these words I would like to say Thank you.